I would describe the work in Declaration and Resistance as a labor of love. I began working on this exhibition before the COVID-19 pandemic. Going through COVID and experiencing some of the things that were happening at that time period, I wanted to transform the exhibition into more of a celebratory aspect of labor and the people who are laborers. Because um, I remember working in retail stores, being a waiter, working in restaurants. Like I, I felt down at times and I felt defeated, but there were times when I felt proud of what I was doing. And so I wanted to take those moments of my pride in myself and use that glimmer and that spark to create the work that um, I've made for this show. Becoming a quilter has sort of shaped um, how I think of my paintings. My work was always about assemblage and construction and layers upon layers upon layers. And then when I started quilting, it made me see things in a, in a totally different light. Some of the pieces that you see looked completely different at one point and we spent a lot of time working on it and then I felt like, well, this just is not speaking right now. And so I've had to cut out whole portions um, of a quilt and redo it just because it didn't tell the story that I needed to. And so even though I had sketches and I had an idea of um, what I see in my head, it's always different than what uh, um, is fully fleshed out. And a lot of times what, what comes out is much better than what I had in my head. <laughs> 